trying to say is, look, throwing the football with these types of quarterbacks, these these mobile, really yeah. hyper-mobile types of quarterbacks, they see the field different. Correct. You cannot just line up five wideouts all the time and then expect them to know to always know what side of the field to go to. They just see the field differently. When you call the plays, it has to be a run fake in there. It has to be some type of easier type of differen dif differentiation of, you know, levels to the play or, or levels to the read so he can have his one, two, three, and then go. They just don't see the field like uh, 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 Joe Flacco, and I, and I think Marty Mornowick has done a good job. I know we've been t going back and forth of switching up this offense midseason. It's very difficult very. to prepare for a guy like Joe Flacco most of the way through the season who was throwing the ball almost 45 times a game and then go to Lamar Jackson, who's more of a runner and an explosive passer down the football field. And I agree with all of that, but as a wide receiver and also as an advocate for this guy, Lamar Jackson, and my only biggest, my biggest concern was it he can't throw and all that stuff is really to pigeonhole a young guy to say, well, he can't do this, so he can only run the ball. He, I only watched, scouts were saying that. All, yeah, everything coming from his team was saying I, he can throw it. I understand, but when you look at the game plan at times, people really didn't respect his throwing ability. And now going into the season, uh, going into the playoffs, just like the Chargers, all of a sudden, Oh, it's a run. Oh, it's a pass. Touchdown. So allowing this young kid to throw the ball and show his accuracy and show his ability to throw the ball as well as running it makes them makes him more of a holistic. Okay, I, I, I like the word, but look, check this out. You love the if word. He's down by, if he's down by 14 points in the third quarter, can he throw back? Can he throw his way back in the game? We have how do not, you do it? If we have how do you not do it? seen how do you that do yet. It? You got to do it. If, you got to do it. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we all would have had a Merry Christmas, Colleen. That is true. That's great. Thanks, Jeezy. All right, let's keep it in the division, but go back in time a little bit. Remember when Juju Smith-Schuster got his bike stolen last year? Of course you do. And we found out that he was riding the bike because he didn't have his driver's license. Well, the Steelers receiver instantly became one of the most likable players in the league, not just for that, but because of his play on the field. And his star has grown in his second season. So has his impact. A devastating fumble against the Saints last week. It shouldn't have came down to one. That currently has the Steelers on the outside looking in, but he tweeted this, um, that the loss is on me. I let everyone down. It won't happen again. I mean, he's being accountable it's on here. Every Taking responsibility. He's such a leader on the scene. And this Good week, job, that's right, June. 2018 MVP for the Steelers, the team making sure that fumble doesn't hey, how, overshadow how about this? an amazing season. Long Beach, out of Long Beach, Pilot, he was a corner. First day of, tra first day of training camp, he's, he lined up in a wide receiver room at USC. That's all. That was it. Up. Yeah. Wow. wow. All right, time for who you got. Okay. And that's what we call our pick segment, games that we agree on right here. You okay, know. Miami can't play in the cold. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slow through, and we got more of these. Oh, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, real quick. Uh, we talked about coaching futures. I'm not expecting Marvin Lewis to be the coach of the Bengals next year based on the conversations that I've had. And I don't think it's going to be Hugh Jackson either. We talked about that possibility. So we'll see what happens. Nobody picking Cleveland? In Cincinnati. Nobody's nobody. picking Cleveland. Nobody, nobody. believes wow. it's Baker Mayfield. Baker. You part of that nobody. Wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody knows Baker. I'm a big Lamar Jackson. Baker texted me, oh. said he woke up feeling dangerous. Uh -oh. He, he texted you that? that? No, he didn't text me. I was oh, about to no say, but why is he worried about you? Jaguars, Texans, whew, what a rough season. You believe there's three AFC South teams alive for the playoffs right That's now? That's pretty good. None Lamar Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> How about that, huh? <laughs> uh, what? Who do I have? I got the Houston <laughs> Texans. Why? Because their defense is playing unbelievable. They took a step back losing. D. Thomas. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a huge impact. But they got some young guys that are very excited to step up. And I just got to go with this defense. And J.J. Watt, but the Davion Clowney, who does not always show up on the stage. Best team. player on that defense. Absolutely. Best player on the defense. Thank you. I'm with you. I'm taking the Texans as well. They need to learn how to block a little better. That's one thing. But aside from that, I just don't. I, how are the Jags going to score here? Leonard Fournette, he's been struggling all year. And Blake Bortles is back in. He's missing almost his entire offensive He's line. Back in? He's yeah. Back. yeah. Bortles is back. Yeah, I got the Houston Texans as well simply because Jacksonville stinks. All right, I don't make picks here, but I'll make a prediction. <laughs> I'll make a prediction. <laughs> Giants-Cowboys will not be Eli Manning's last game as quarterback Ooh. of the Jets. Look at you. Wow. Really? 
going my prediction. To, I'm going with Dallas. I think, oh. I think they're a better team, and I don't know how. I, I should have played quarterback. I could have played 90 Forever. Years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Forever. 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 Ever. Yeah. Ever. In a rocking chair. <laughs> I'm going to take the Giants in this one because I really don't buy the fact that they are not going to play their starters, the Cowboys. They have nothing to play for right now. It's week 17. They're already locked into that four seed. I think the Giants could win this one because they're going to be Colleen's playing not back. Falling for the yeah, yeah, I'm, like I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys, but I agree with Colleen. Mm -hmm. well, uh, this could be a trap game. Could trap be a game. trap game. <laughs> Guys, we're going to have more picks coming up, so don't go anywhere in the next hour. And we have this. Could it be by